Hello, in this video I'm going to talk a bit about eventing, but I'm going to focus on generic events, specifically the generic event handler type. So I'm just going to enter full screen here. I'm going to try to enter full screen more often and zoom in and out with the text editor just because it saves me a lot of time and I can make uh, videos a bit more efficiently. So I have some predefined code here. Basically, it's just basic non-generic event stuff. And if you don't understand non-generic event stuff, then watch the video in the description. I don't want to talk about that stuff because it's redundant. But I will just add random bits of information that I don't really have in other videos. So with non-generic events, you have to define a delegate to accept your own event arg type, type sorry. and with generic events you don't need to specify your own delegate type. So we can remove this and just use event handler but add generic syntax at the end. And I'm just going to copy this type name in there and build and we're good to go. And that's all you have to do to implement generic events or a generic event handler. And some random facts. Um, some people think that you need to prefix your event method name with on. You do not need to do this. It doesn't really matter what it's called. That's just a convention. And if top speed is not equal to null, this is a this checks to see if there's any subscribed events so um, if I were to comment this out it still works fine because there's a subscribed event but if you go back to the program class here comment out top speed changed then there's no subscribed events and top speed will top speed changed will be equal to null okay so let's try Let's see what happens if we subscribe and then unsubscribe, unsubscribe and see if it's still null or if it nulls out. Yes, it does. So when it has no subscribers, it's null. And another thing, some people think that you need to have an object and then an event arg type being passed into your event method but this is not true this only applies to your um, your hook here you don't need to send in anything if you don't have to so here I'm just constructing top speed and you might want to use the var keyword when declaring event arg types because for the most part, event arg type names are very long. And you can just make your line a bit shorter if you use the bare keyword. And that's all I have for tips. See you later.